for your nails i've been using these two in my night skincare routine a lot i am the queen of lip glosses okay now these two things are very random if you're living somewhere where it's so cold this will save you and this is the cardigan which i got from h&m on the skin uh, Hey my kitty cats, I'm your host Manvi and today I have a really special video. We are going to finish this year with the best of 2020 and I have makeup, I have skincare, I also have fashion and we also have K-drama category for my K-drama fans and just random things which I like throughout this year of 2020. And now, before starting this video, I just want to say that these are not necessarily the new launches of 2020. Some are the new products which were discovered by me in the year 2020 some are new launches and some are just my classic favorites and I hope that you brought something to munch on or your coffee because this video will be long and I just want to hang out with my kitty cats I love coffee it will give me some energy Now let's begin with this box full of makeup and my hairpin is almost like slipping down on me so let's say bye bye to it. So this is the makeup that I have and I also have the skincare of course but today I'm going to start with the makeup I guess and I also have the worst of 2020 and look at this box. This is filled with so much stuff so I will be sharing my worst of 2020 in other video which will be linked somewhere here. Alrighty, so let's begin with the makeup first, but skincare is my speciality, so I will be saving it for the second one. And do not skip on the skincare because I do have some new favorites. So let's begin with the makeup and then we will move on to the skincare because I just want to warm up for the skincare because that's special for me. Very randomly, I'm going to start with the mascara and I have L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now this is extremely hard to remove but i do have a makeup remover for you which can remove even this but this mascara is so amazing it stays in its place for the whole day it holds the girl and girl it holds the curl and it keeps my eyelashes voluminous curled and standing in its place and i love it for that i do not own a mascara which is like that i've been wearing this almost every day whenever i wear makeup so it's going to my favorite 2020 favorite now a new favorite a new launch by the end of this year was the K-Beauty blushes and I have the soft nude blush which is I'm wearing on my cheeks and these are so pigmented no matter what skin tone you are this will suit you and this is so soft nude the perfect kind of blushes that I would love on my makeup looks like it goes with any makeup look packaging is so classy and I know it's not looking very attractive in the pan but this is so classy and it goes with everything I I wear and it makes me look so fresh so I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheeks and show you like wow I love this blush I keep recommending the Milani Luminoso but girl we have a new favorite in the house it has mango butter and avocado butter and it does not have any shimmer into it it's a matte blush and it looks so gorgeous lasts a long time yep love this Okay, so this was not launched in 2020, but this is my 2020 favorite. I found this very affordable bronzer and this is by Rimmel London Natural Bronzer and I'm in shade Sun Kiss. It's so affordable, but it shows up on the skin and it's pigmented, but again, it's not too pigmented. You know what I mean? So it gives a very beautiful sun-kissed healthy glow on the skin. So I've been really loving this bronzer. And now this is for the drugstore version, but I also have my high-end all-time favorite. This is what I'm wearing on myself today. And again, this is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And this is my new favorite in 2020. I bought some bronzers. Like I was on a bronzer hunt in 2020, and this is definitely worth every money. This bronzer deserves all that 
the hype and it will suit all Indian skin tones. It's that special. Love this bronzer and I have the mini one. Okay, I know a lot of you wear Kajal. I personally do not but I do have a new find and it's by the K Beauty. This was launched this year only I guess and it's in Spain. This is so affordable and this is so pigmented, so black and it stays in its place and you can also like just blow it out and get the most natural smoky eyes. Like let me swatch it for you. If you have been on a hunt for Kajal, this is the one. This is so good. If you hear children screaming, that's my neighbor's kids, okay? Yeah, all of them are so noisy. <laughs> anyway, if you have been looking for a highlighter, this would not stay in its place, come on. Okay, whatever. So, okay, so if you have been looking for a highlighter, I have just the one for you. And the highlighter that I recommend is the Ofra Rodeo Dry. This is a beautiful champagne gold shade, which will suit all Indian skin tones. I'm wearing this on my cheeks, and most of the time, whenever I wear makeup, I wear this highlighter, and it is so gorgeous. Like, I have so many highlighters with me, but this is the most intense, most natural looking, not glittery, like it has a beautiful shine to it. So gorgeous, love this on my cheeks. Okay, highly, highly recommend this. Again, I have the mini. I have the minis of Ofra and the Hula. So I have three eyeshadow quads for you because these three eyeshadow quads made me more excited about wearing makeup. So that's why I am mentioning these three because uh, one is for everyday and two are for, you know, colorful looks. I'm wearing one of these on my eyes today. I am like lilac today. So this is the Huda Beauty Lilac Pastels Eyeshadow. Allow me to come closer so that you can see my makeup look. So I'm wearing the lilac eyeshadow on my eyes today and these are looking just stunning and going with my lilac vibe. I love lavender and lilacs for Indian skin tones. They just flatter Indian skin tones so very well love this like it looks so natural but also so beautiful at the same time i will be doing the look from mint eyeshadow palette as well so this is my second favorite shades in this one are again so unique so flattering for indian skin tone and these are pigmented like these will show up on your eyes like no matter how dusky you are it will show up on you these are so so gorgeous and i have a mint cardigan so i will be wearing this eyeshadow very very soon so you will see this in the action and this was my two favorites from Huda Beauty and for the price I am saying that it's a deal do grab one of these palettes whichever you like and Huda Beauty eyeshadows are just one of those eyeshadows which are high quality and also very creative very unique love these eyeshadows okay now it's time for my most used and my everyday eyeshadow palette and I used it by the end of this year because that's when I started wearing makeup again so it's the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow color in shade pillow talk and this gives the most beautiful soft pink shade it's so my vibe and it gives that beautiful wet look to your eyes and it has the most beautiful shimmer shade in this quad which makes it worth all the money that you invest in this I know it's a little bit expensive very very expensive but it gives the most beautiful look like if you don't know how to do makeup you will create the most beautiful soft pink eye look on your eyes like it's so easy to use these shades are so pigmented so high quality and it just blends on my skin on its own like I do not regret spending that much money on this eyeshadow quad because I know I wear it every every single day if you know me if you've been following me for a long time then you know that I love soft pink on my eyes and if you are dusky skin tone it will show up but I would recommend that you try the walk of no shame that is more pigmented than this one but pillow talk is like a OG all-time favorite definitely love this I do not like the pillow talk lipstick because that will wash out the Indian skin tones but this eyeshadow is so pigmented I have created a look using this I will leave a link here so you can watch this video and this is just my everyday essential so that's for my eyeshadow and I know I wanted to give you a drugstore version but I do not have one I would say that if you want to go for something um, less expensive than the Huda Beauty eyeshadows do not waste your money on the eyeshadows that do not work and make you feel like that you are crappy at makeup 
because you're not i used to use um those eyeshadow like the maybelline ones and they never worked out for me like youtubers raved about those eyeshadow palettes but they never worked out for me and i thought that i am bad at makeup but no it's the eyeshadow those are not at all the eyeshadows that you would want to put on your eyes or just create any makeup look with so i would say wait save and then invest in the right eyeshadow palette that you want for yourself these three are my favorites anyway <laughs> moving on so I am a lip gloss queen and everybody knows that and these are the lip glosses that were most used by me in the year 2020 and the first one is by Mac this is a Mac lip gloss and I recommend that you go for the peachy and pinky lip glosses because that will go with every lipstick that you own so what I do I wear the lipstick and then I top it up with the lip gloss so I cannot do without the lip gloss I can skip the lipstick but I cannot do without the lip gloss and I'm wearing this combination I'm wearing the Nykaa Lacy Luck and the MAC lip gloss I will be leaving all the links in my description box so don't forget to check it out and the other two lip glosses are the Nika K lip gloss this is so inexpensive and so gorgeous and the name is also gorgeous <laughs> but these are always out of stock the next one is the Fenty lip gloss and I have in the shade Fussy it's a beautiful soft pink lip gloss again and you can wear it on its own it's that gorgeous um, now I know it's not available in India but whenever it will be grab their lip glosses whenever Fenty Beauty comes to India I'm going to be that girl who will own all the lip glosses from Fenty like these are so so stunning so so gorgeous love it absolutely love it if you have any friend who's coming from abroad ask them to bring this for you <laughs> now I have like a very old and classic favorite and I wanted to mention it because I used it the most in 2020 and it's the MAC strobe cream in shade pink light this is the mini one and I use it every day whenever I do my makeup my base makeup this is my constant because I cannot do without it I love the dewy glossy look and it gives that look so I mix it with my foundation and one drop of oil and it gives that beautiful dewy look you know that I'm known for my glossy and dewy look and this is how I achieve it so for foundation I have two options for you one is drugstore and one is high-end and one I used in the beginning of 2020 and the one I used the most in the end of 2020 so in the beginning of 2020 I used the Nykaa my camera stopped filming so for drugstore foundation I have the Nykaa skin shield foundation in shade hot honey in the beginning of 2020 I used this foundation the most but then I switched to Estee Lauder double wear foundation and I'm in shade Casio and I have not touched any other foundation after this because this is so long lasting it stays on my skin whole day and I have the mini this is for 1800 rupees and worth every single penny you invest in it it gives the most flawless finish to my base makeup I just love love absolutely adore it and the only foundation that I would recommend to my subscribers right now is this one I highly recommend it I know it's on the higher price range I've never had a foundation which lasts me whole day and it's also very lightweight I do not have the urge to remove my makeup like I cannot wear makeup for longer than three four hours but with this foundation I can wear my makeup for the whole day and that's amazing for me because I have to film these YouTube videos for you which takes me whole day sometimes I know I'm trying too hard for this foundation but I want you to try it like it's so good it changed my life you know and one more thing this foundation never goes cakey on me like it never goes cakey all right so I have five lipstick options for you it also includes the lip tint because you know that I wear lip tints a lot so I will start with the lip tint first and the two lip tints that I adore and I have almost finished this year are the love tint and the go go tint like these are worth all the money I love it on my cheeks I love it on my lips it's a beautiful rosy pink shade and this one is a chili red shade and if I were to recommend one lip tint for you that would be the go go tint now I have three lipstick options for you which I wore in 2020 the most first is Ofra unzipped it's a soft mauve nude pink for my lips I wear it with my lip gloss and with my pink eye makeup looks and the other one is the Ofra Milan maroonish cranberry red shade which I wear and I always get compliments from you from my subscribers and the nude shade is the lacy look from Nykaa which is what I'm wearing on my lips today it's a beautiful nude shade for Indian skin tones and I have used it a lot you can see Ofra Milan is almost finished 
this is half finished and this one is repurchased so you know that I love the Ofra unzipped a lot and the gogo tint is finished love tint is almost finished so you know I wore these lipsticks the most in the year 2020 for eyeliner I just wanted to quickly mention the NYX epic ink liner the one eyeliner that I recommend on my channel is the NYX one and for your nails, I have the Nika nail paints. I love Nika nail paints, okay? I have the new Nika breathable range. I'm wearing this shade on myself. It's the Lazy Lilac. Love this shade. Love the lavender tones for myself. I also love this Butterscotch White shade. Um, this is number 309. I will link it in my description box. And then for pastels, I have the K-Beauty. I do not like the formula of K-Beauty uh, nail paints, but I love the shades so like it has this beautiful pastel yellow which i will pair with that cardigan like they have this beautiful pastel blue which i will pair with my blue cardigan and the lilac one which is going with my sweater today i forgot the brushes again but let me quickly mention my favorite brushes which i use the most in 2020 okay so for blush brush i use the wet and wild brush in number p60 i will link it in my description box camera stopped so this is the number p60 i will link it in my description box for the eyeshadow the only brush that I use the most is the NYX in number 16 this is a little bit expensive but this is the only eyeshadow brush that I use blends my eyeshadow so beautifully it does not poke my eyes this brush is so soft and so high quality I've been using it for a long time and it does not shed these two brushes are my constant my favorite favorite of 2020 2019 and beyond that and I think that's all for my makeup recommendation let's start with the skincare recommendation which I specialize in like it will work for you all right kitty cats so that's all for the best of 2020 in the makeup category now now let's begin with the skincare I have my skincare basket on with me so let's begin with the skincare recommendations so let's start with the skincare favorites of 2020 and I will be starting with the December favorites let's start with my December 2020 favorites I have Dr. Shed Haldi and Hyaluronic Acid Sleeping Mask and I have the Clears Midnight Blue Calming Cream these two are my December favorites I've been using these two in my night skincare routine a lot like this sleeping mask by Dr. Shed that gives that glow and also makes your skin plump and the Claire's midnight cream gives that fillers effect like you just had your fillers and it makes your skin plump but it also calms and soothes your skin if you have a problematic skin and you have redness on your skin this will soothe your skin I've been using these two a lot I use it after my moisturizer as a sleeping mask and I wake up with a beautiful skin next morning. Love these two. If you follow my skincare routines, then you know that I love Claire's Vitamin C and Vitamin E, both of these for my day skincare routine. And I found Claire's Vitamin E just recently and Vitamin C in the year 2020 and my skin never looks so better. It gives the most beautiful glow on the skin. Best Vitamin C, best Vitamin E out there. Highly recommend this if you can get it in the stock because both of these are always out of stock. And if you get these, these in stock definitely grab it I also have a new sunscreen favorite this is by Dr. Shed basic brightening daily sunscreen it's a mineral sunscreen it has zinc oxide and titanium oxide so I highly recommend this I've been using it when I go on my terrace for the Sun sunlight I soak Sun for at least 15 minutes during winters and this has been protecting me I did not get any sunburn or suntan because of this sunscreen so recommend it all right so the hardest one for me to pick was the moisturizer i tried so many moisturizers in the year of 2020 so for me to sum up one moisturizer for the year of 2020 was the hardest but i did it and it's the neutrogena hydro boost moisturizer why because first thing it's so affordable second you can use it in the summertime and in the winter time and it's very hydrating it's gel consistency but it's also very hydrating and moisturizing that you can use it in the winter Winters. so this moisturizer is a winner especially for the price for the consistency for the formula it's an all-rounder winner for me that's why I just wanted to recommend it and any skin type can use this so it goes with every skincare routine that you are following and now let's move on to my favorite glycolic acid toner and I think you know which one is it it's the Dr. Shad Gulab and glycolic toner the best thing happened for me in the year of 2020 was that I found Dr. Shad 
with skincare and it was game changer for me i recommend it so many of my subscribers and you all seem to love it as much as i do and this one is like a cult favorite is a kitty cat family favorite we all love this glycolic acid toner now 2020 also brought a surprise for me there was a serum that i did not like at all but there was a new launch in the year of 2020 a new version of the advanced night repair serum and this just blew my mind like i was blown away how well it worked for my skin the first day i tried it on my skin next day i woke up with this beautiful glowing skin and i was just so surprised because i was not expecting much i tried the 2017 version i think it was and i did not like it they made three major changes in the new anr they added the digitata seed extract which is a rich source of fatty acids fatty fatty acids and retinoids so vitamin a so i highly recommend this i love my retinoid skincare routine i am currently on my vitamin a skincare routine so love this this is amazing for the nighttime but you can use it in the daytime as well now with this anr serum if you are using it i highly recommend that you use the dr shet power emulsion retinoid power emulsion i love this moisturizer only with the anr like it gives the most beautiful glow every single morning i wake up these two are like power duo for my night skincare routine retinoids night skincare routine and you can start it in your 20s okay um now for the makeup remover I have the plum makeup remover this makeup remover even removes my L'Oreal lash paradise mascara all of your hard to remove makeup your waterproof makeup it removes it and it does not burn my skin I have tried so many makeup removers and this one is the best okay so I highly recommend this and now the best peel you might think will be the ordinary but that's not that's actually in my worst of 2020 but my best peel is the dr. shed peel this is so gentle on my skin and i have recommended this to so many of my subscribers they all love it and you can start with the peels in 20s and i love chemical exfoliation i love chemical peels they are the best for indian skin like you need to start with the chemical peels and glycolic acid based toners it will get rid of that dull skin and it's the best for indian skin tones highly recommend this if you're scared to use it don't be go for it and your skin is going to be changed forever for toner um highly recommend the karma ayurveda toner this is the rose water toner i used to use the forest essentials one before this but then this year i got the full size version of it because i just love this toner so much they also have the mini of it so you can try the mini anr one also have the mini you can try the mini first i think it's around 1250 rupees so please try the minis and then invest in the bigger versions for people who get acne breakouts and mini breakouts every now and then i recommend the dr shet neem and be ha serum this works i recommend this okay if you're acne prone skin type then the oil the facial oil of 2020 is the juicy chemistry healy chrysum rose hip oil love this this is so lightweight if you are acne prone and oily skin type this will work for you i highly recommend this oil i only recommend this oil on my channel all the time this is rich in linoleic acid which is so good for your skin these were my skincare picks for 2020 now i also have the worst of skincare from 2020 which will be linked here so you can watch that video because i have tried all of the skincare that was launched in 2020 or your indian skincare products that you wanted me to try on and you might have missed that skincare review it's probably because um, i did not like that skincare okay so make sure that you watch this video before investing your money i would highly recommend that you invest your money into these skincare products that i recommended in this video and these are going to 2021 with me i love these so much now for hair i discovered the l'oreal extraordinary oil serum i have finished this as you can see we love this like all four of us love this serum it makes our hair so soft and so manageable love this serum i got this in pr but i am going to repurchase this because we all love this serum and we always need a serum after washing your hair okay now these two things are very random i love the davidoff coffee i used to use the nescafe but 
then I switched to Davidoff in this year and I love it. And I have tried all the flavors from Davidoff but the rich aroma flavor is my favorite. Now these are the bath salts that we use in a family. This is specially for my mom because she has arthritis and it works on her arthritis. This one is from Body Care and I love their lavender bath salt. And this is like a huge quantity, you know. It also smells so, so good. I love bath salts, especially in like winters. Do try bath salts guys, like these are really good. Okay, I think that's all for the skincare makeup recommendation. Now I just wanted to quickly mention my uh, season favorites, K-drama favorites. So the first one which I watched in the year of 2020, which I really liked was the Itaewon class. And then I also like the records of youth. Sorry for the light power cut. I'm also loving watching True Beauty and Mandalorian, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, and I think that's all for the shows that I really enjoyed this year. We also have the fashion category and let me start with what I'm wearing today. This is my white shirt from H&M. Wore it so much in the year of 2020. And this is the neck piece which I got from Zara and this sweater which I got from H&M. All right, so I also love this sweater vest this was from H&M sweater vests are so cool these days I also love these sweatshirts these are the basic sweatshirt and these are from Zara so high quality so soft I've been wearing these in my home all the time and these sweatshirts are for 900 rupees which is so good especially for the quality I also have the lavender one which you can see I also have these sweaters this is from Zara this is my favorite I wore it in my Q&A video and this is the cardigan which I got from H&M I love this pastel yellow color. I got this because of the shade only, but this is very lightweight. You can wear it during fall season or like in your February, March kind of season. Um, and this is so heavy, so high quality, the Zara sweater. If you're living somewhere where it's so cold, this will save you. I actually like Zara for the quality because H&M ones are like nice, they're cute, but Zara ones are good quality. I know they are a little expensive than the H&M, but you also get the quality. So if you're looking for an investment and the higher quality, I would recommend you go with the Zara ones. I was thinking of doing a haul, Zara and H&M, haul for you for the winter season so let me know if you're interested in something like that i will do it but for today i think that's all the best of 2020 and you are my absolute favorite absolute best of 2020 so thank you so much for continuously supporting me my work i love you so so much and i'm so so grateful i do not take my work for granted thank you so much and i will always be loyal and faithful to you i love you my kitty cats my loves my family and i will see you in next year no i will see you in this year only because i have so many videos for you so i think that's all for today's video i hope you find something which works for you in this video because i selected only few like my best of best 2020 you know so i will see you soon Mwah. bye bye <laughs>